But when out in the wilderness, could the attire help you survive? Avid outdoorsmen, expert bow hunters, and the authors of Proper Care and Feeding of a Hunting Buddy are joining us on Good Day at Four. And the truth is, how prepared you are could really make or break your hunting experience. But let's talk to the experts for that topic. Bob Baldwin and Jay Ledbetter are joining us via Zoom. So before you guys leave the house, how important is it that you're properly prepared before walking onto the hunting grounds? Well, I'll start with that, right? Uh, it's extremely important. Um, and one of the first things to think about in terms of, of safety and security and everything else is to make certain that you're not hunting alone, that you have somebody with you, that you've got a, and in Jay, in my case, we have hunting buddies, right? And it's extremely important to make certain that you have the right equipment, um, the right um, understanding of what the, the situation you're walking into, the area that you're hunting, and what the weather's like. Of course. And and being prepared before you walk out the door is just so important, even taking into consideration your snack and lunch. Food and drinks are recommended for long days or weeks on the field, but what kind you pack is important too, right? That's exactly right. Uh, Bob, Bob has said it best. Go with a hunting buddy is the first thing. And, and I would recommend everybody do better than Bob to find a hunting buddy because I'm not the very best. But the bottom line is that, first of all, as you're packing, don't get in too much of a hurry because you'll forget important things. Uh, be sure to plan for, the, for, for some of the bad things. You know, be, have some first aid, water purification, maybe a life straw some of those iodine pills that the army wanted us to, to, to swallow along or, or put, in the, put in the water. Oh, gee whiz, those are short in your lifespan, but maybe not as bad as bad water might. Uh, a couple of ponchos, some fire starting materials, uh, and clothing, maybe if you've spent overnight with you, didn't want to or not, and, and changing weather. All those things can really make all the difference in the outcome. Yeah, a weather during the hunting season can, can make or break an experience too, and it's so unpredictable. What type of gear do you recommend for hunters uh, to keep them comfortable during their excursion? Well, it, once again, it depends on it depends on where you're going, how long you're going to be out, and things like that. But I carry a fanny pack with me, and in that fanny pack, I automatically have things like a um, a space blanket. It's really light. It's very simple, but it can be amazingly um, important if you find yourself in a situation where you're wet and cold and unable to get out of the uh, out, out of the weather. Tell me, uh, you guys co-authored a book together. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, Bob, tell her. Um, yeah, we we started um, writing our um, or chronicle, chronicling our our escapades a number of years ago. We used to read um, stories by Pat McManus, who was a an author and a humorist. And we would sit around camp after after hunting, getting ready to to cook or whatever, and laugh ourselves silly at those particular incidents. Well, Jay looked at me one day after reading all those, and he said, "You know, Bob," he said. Some of the things that you do remind me of the things that occur in Pat McManus' story. Maybe we ought to start writing them down ourselves. So we have, we've created a book called Proper Care and Feeding of a Hunting Buddy. And it's got six of our stories. And there's a kernel of truth in every one of our stories. It may be a very small kernel, but there's a kernel of truth in every story. And the truth is, every hunting buddy batch um, has been out and have had times when they've laughed at something that, they, that they've done. That's what we've tried to do with our stories. There really is something in each one of our stories that happened that triggers the writing of the, of, of the story. And Jay is, is masterful at actually putting into words something that will make you just roar in, in hilarity as, as you read them. Well, and, and what Bob hasn't said is that the, the, the stories that have the most truth in them are the funniest by far. That's great. Thank you guys, I really enjoyed talking with you. Um, Bob Baldwin and Jay Ledbetter, where can folks go if they're interested in your book? Um, you can find our book on Amazon.com. You can find it at Barnes & Noble. Thank you so much, uh, Bob Baldwin and then Jay Ledbetter. Thank you for joining us on Good Day at 4. And to all the avid hunters out there, do be safe. And you guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you very Thank you. much.